School has produced quite a few NFL players and Pro Football Hall of Famers, the likes of Harold Carmichael and Brian Dawkins, just to name a couple. Every one of those guys dream of playing at the highest level started right here in the River City. Tonight, we're taking you to the heart of the game to show the next former Vikings player who is hoping to one day star in the NFL. I felt good. Uh, I felt like I, I, I um, showed my talent. Former Reigns and Camden County standout MyJ Sanders getting a second shot to impress NFL coaches, scouts, and executives. Uh, at the combine, I had weighed in at 226 off of, I mean 228 off of, uh, off of sickness, and I just really trying to hurry up and come back and show that I can. That I'm really too fit. A three-year starter at Cincinnati, Sanders helped the Bearcats make their first ever appearance in the college football playoffs. A 2020 semifinalist for the Veterinary Award given to college football's best defender, he combines a very good burst with good overall athleticism and quick hands. He's been projected as a fourth-round pick, but he's choosing to block out all the mock draft talk. Honestly, being here with Coach Fit for four years and my coach Duran Wiley, we don't, they don't even do media, so I don't really look at media either. I, I, I rarely look at it. Probably the last time I looked at a mock draft was probably like, when my friend was going to, to the NFL, Solomon Kenley. However, Sanders admits he loved to hear his name called in the first or second round. <laughs> well, hopefully, God bless me. You know, it's all in God's hands right now. No matter where Sanders lands in the NFL draft, it's what he learned while playing for the Vikings and Wildcats here at home that has him in position to live out a childhood dream. Going to Reigns, Reigns, that's what was my set in stone. And what made, I feel like that made me the player to who I am other than my sister. Like, all right, like resting her soul. I feel like that elevated my level in high school to like already had that winning mentality going into high school. And then when I transferred to Camden, even though that our team wasn't the best team because we was rebuilding at the time, uh, that's why I showed that I could be where I came and be a leader. I'm obligated to do it because that's all I've been knowing since I've been small is to win and win and win. Don't forget, you can watch every round of the 2022 NFL Draft on ABC 25. The first round of the draft is Thursday.